Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a number of measures you can implement to improve the overall speed and efficiency of the Wi-Fi connection on your Windows PC or laptop. Now, obviously, the maximum speed of the connection that gets to your computer is determined by the class of service you are subscribed to or the service agreement you have from your internet service provider. It could also depend on what the Wi-Fi card on your device supports, but we are not going to that. Most Wi-Fi cards support at least 150 megabytes per second, which is very good speed. So our focus here is to optimize the placement of our access point and also the local configurations on the computer to ensure that we are getting the best of whatever service we are subscribed to. So first off, if you are getting your internet access from a Wi-Fi router or hotspot, you need to ensure that your router is properly positioned for optimal transmission. Few simple tips here include placing your router on a higher central location as opposed to placing on the floor or near large metal objects as such objects could interfere with your signal or truncate it completely. Next, you want to remove any other wireless electronic devices that could be transmitting at the same or close frequencies with your router, again to avoid interference. Avoid walls, windows, mirrors, kitchen areas, and large water collectors like fish tanks. You can try placing your router at different locations around the house and observe the effect each location has on your connection speed and then decide on which location is optimal. Now let's get back to our laptop to see what settings we can change so as to further improve our connection speed. Here, the first thing you want to do is to turn off any unwanted background services and apps that are secretly tapping into your Wi-Fi connection and preventing other essential services from having full access to the available bandwidth. To do that, let's first find out what programs and services are currently accessing our Wi-Fi connection. For that, simply right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. In the Task Manager, click on the Performance tab. And below the window, click on Open Resource Monitor. Here, click on Network and wait for a couple of minutes for the list to populate. And here, as you can see, the different services and applications that currently have access to my network connections are popping up. Obviously, most of it is Chrome, which is my browser. Others like this SVC host are the default Windows services, but I can also see some other apps like Skype, WhatsApp, Android, or any other apps you may have that is using your internet connection. You will see those here. Now, if you find an app here that you are not actively using, you can simply locate the app and close or exit from it. That will temporarily turn off the app and prevent it from tapping into your connection speed. However, after you restart your computer, such apps could turn back on and begin to tap into your Wi-Fi connection again. To completely block a program from accessing your internet connection, open your search and type Defender. Open Windows Defender from the search results. Here, click on Outbound Rules. Then on the right, click on New Rule. New rule wizard should pop up. Here, leave it on the program option and click on next. Now it asks you for the path of the program you want to block. Click on browse. Then click on local disk C. Then open the program files x86 folder. Here, locate the program you want to block from accessing your internet connection. I will use Android as an example. So I will open the Android folder. Here, I will select the actual executable Android program file, which is this, and then hit open. Here, hit next. Leave it as block connection and hit next. Here, leave all the options selected. Hit next. And then here, it asks you to name the rule. I will just call it block Android. If you want, you can add description and then hit finish. Now here I can see this block Android rule has been added. You can add more rules for more apps as you choose. Then restart your computer afterwards for the rules to take effect. With that, the next step to improving our internet speed would be to change our DNS server in the IP settings. 
To that, simply right click on your network icon and select Open Network and Internet Settings. Here, scroll down and select Change Adapter Options. On this page, locate your Wi Fi connection. Right click on it and select Properties. On the Properties page, double click on Internet Protocol version 4. And here, if yours is not on, use the following DNS server addresses. You can select it. Then on the preferred DNS, you can set the address to 1.1.1.1 and the alternative DNS server address to 1.0.0.1. Now, this will be the fastest DNS in most cases. However, if you want to verify if your location has a faster DNS than this, Simply visit the link in the description to download this free DNS benchmark tool. It's a portable application, so no need to install it. You can just run it directly from the folder. Here on the name servers tab, click on run benchmark and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards, you should have the fastest DNS for your location come up on the top two. So in my case, it's still the 1.1.1.1 and the 1.0.0.1. So set your DNS as the fastest one that comes up for you and hit OK to complete the process. Next, we are going to be changing some advanced network adapter settings to further ensure optimal performance. To do that, just go back to this Wi-Fi properties page and click on configure. Here you go to the advanced tab. Now the options you see here will vary depending on your type of connection. So if you are using an Ethernet connection, you will have a few different options than if you are using a Wi-Fi connection. So if you don't see any of the options I'll be changing here, just change the ones that you have available and save the changes. So first on my list are the channel widths. Here check that both the 2.4 and the 5 or 5.2 GHz channel weights are set to auto. If not, click on each of them and set the values to auto. Next is the fat channel intolerance setting. Here you want to check that this is set to disabled. If not, set it to disabled. Then the preferred band. Here click on the drop down to check if your device supports the 5 or 5.2 GHz band. If it does, then select it as the preferred band as that will offer you a faster connection than the 2.4 GHz band. Next, check for this roaming aggressiveness option. Here you want to set it to lowest because it's likely that your router is in a fixed and relatively near location. So no need to assign resources to roaming. Finally, we have this transmit power level. Here check that yours is set to highest. If not, click on the drop down and set the value to highest. If you are using an Ethernet connection, you may want to also check for this energy efficient Ethernet, green Ethernet and power saving mode options and set all to disabled. Then click on OK and save all the settings. Finally, restart your computer to consolidate these changes. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.